All right, everybody, welcome back to Rocket League. Thank you for bearing with me, um, all the mods in the chat, because I uh, am struggling with all the logistics, but you know, we're doing, we're doing our best over here. Um, so yes, series two is about to start in a few minutes. We are playing Tennessee. Uh, again, I would change the title, but I'm incompetent and don't know where the edit button is in mod view. So, you know, maybe one of this week I will learn how to actually do all this stuff. But, playing Tennessee, um, you know, the series one earlier was a bit unfortunate. Um, it's a lot to learn from that one. Hopefully they'll go over some replays there and uh, to figure that game out. But, anyways, you know, maybe they'll fuel that into the next game. Try to do their best with this. Really just think what they're looking for is some some tighter rotation on defense. Just seems like their offense is doing pretty pretty good right now. Um, they're just giving away kind of stupid goals. Really due to last back not, you know, being far back enough, pushing too far up, and then also just not fast enough rotations in uh in his third and so anyways hopefully we see some some better defense this game that's what I'd like to see because like I said on uh, on offense they're looking pretty good so yeah I just talked to quicks it's a little a little sad about the last series because it was you know it was in their hands but you know sometimes that's just how collegiate esports is you know you have a series that you should you know you should realistically win and then Kind of slips from your fingers and so hopefully they take that and uh, and learn from it so we will see if they do that and i know usually they um well actually hold on i need to just stay in this other view there we go usually they have the, the different third sponge spongebob goober is his name but he's usually busy on wednesdays for sal which is a little unfortunate but you know spike is He's actually a pretty decent sub, so um, he's definitely good enough to, to hold his own and stay with the other guys, especially on offense. You can see his, his second position, or his second man is really strong, so hopefully you know, we see some more from him on defense, really, is I think where he could improve a little bit, so we'll see how that turns out. Looks like the other team's finally here. So let's get into game view. Here we go. Let's see it. Series two against Tennessee. Oh, I'm gonna turn the music off. There we go. Vangic was an early air dribble. Really good. Hit from Swake there. Oh, big attack from Tennessee. Does it slide in? No, they don't capitalize on that one. They had a really good infield pass, bounced off the post. I guess they just weren't expecting the, the weird bounce to come back midfield, so luckily that one doesn't go in. You don't like to see that 30 seconds into a game, a really, you know, scary shot like that, but, you know, hopefully they uh, tighten up. Uh, they don't let that happen again. We'll see. It's like with a weird flip there. Don't know. Maybe he's dodging a bump, and that's just gonna be an open net shot for Quicks. Really strange start to the game. Um, some weird flailing, some weird open net stuff. I don't really know what's going on there, but you know, a goal is a goal, and uh, we will take it for sure. Joe Brogue looking for some weird ceiling solo play. Gets cut off by Quicks. Not less with much boost, though. Tries to pinch it past the guy, but it doesn't quite happen. Spoik also to try and pass to Quicks, but he just has nothing, so he really can't, you know, be expected to follow that one up. Vantage takes the boost. Gets a meh 50, but it does go to Spoik, so... Not too bad. Chaka trying to infield pass. It goes behind Joe Bro, so... You know, could have been deadly, but... Little mistakes like that will cost you some goals. 
Quicks with a, you know, his own attempt at an infield pass, but it was a little too high. I think Bainter was wise to let that ball go and not jump for that. Clear pass Quicks goes to Savoyk, who I think, you know, whipped it. I don't know. Call it a fake, if you will. Quicks gets a good clear. Far enough over Shaka to where he can't put an instant shot afterwards, so that's good to see. Ball goes into the corner with Quicks. You hate when that happens. The ball barely comes off the corner and it's going to be a goal. Oh, man. That's, you know, it's so annoying when you're trying to possess the, the ball in the corner and it's it's an inch off. And so I think Quicks is expecting it to stay rolled on the corner and get possession. And, but unfortunately, you know, an easy mistake like that, not realizing that, will cost you a goal. Quicks passes it out to Vantage. Vantage not quite fast enough getting there. Gets blocked. It's like with an awkward rotation near post. Luckily, he gets bailed by Vantage. Quicks trying to get multiple touches in the corner. Can't quite get it down, though. Vantage will be there. It's on zero boost, though, so couldn't really get a lot done with that. Quicks with a really good pop in the middle. Vantage jumps a little early. Yeah, and he misses because of that. He needed to spend a little more time on the ground, get his bearings, and really launch at the ball with more control. But, you know, still good opportunities. Oh my gosh! Okay, really awkward clear for Vantage starts going towards Orange Net, but luckily doesn't go in. Just looking real awkward today. You know, glad I didn't see an own goal from the Razorback, or that's going to be a goal for Tennessee. Just, yeah, Quicks rotated a little too straight into net. Couldn't quite get wide around it. I think he was scared of, like, a near post shot or something, but he was left alone, and because of a late rotation back, touch or a, a hit off the backboard is not going to be, you know, unpunished. So. Anyways. So that's 2-1 for Tennessee right now. Still got a minute and a half to tie this game up. Vantage gets a clear out towards the net. Can't quite follow up. Zvoik doesn't quite get a touch there. Gets a really good pass out to Quicks, though. Fortunately, Quicks gets clobbered in the corner, so he can't follow up. Tennessee's going to pop it up to their own players. Shaka trying to do some weird flipper set garbage. Vantage cuts off, though. He says, no clips for you. But still just an onslaught. Vantage jumping us last time. Very dangerous. Luckily... Zvoik was able to get a touch. Just you definitely, you really don't want to double commit there, especially if you're last back. Very, very sketchy. Very good pass. Midfield, though, to Vantage, and that's going to be a top left shot. Like I've been saying all day, the Razorback offense has just been really strong. Like that infield pass from Quicks to Vantage, perfect upper 90 towards the left side of the goal. Very hard to save. Very well done from the Razorbacks. And that's the tie they needed to get back in this game. Quicks has a good 50 against two. Kind of a lucky clear from Agonize, to be honest. But, you know, they're not complaining. Shaka tries to take control. Flips the pass one. Vantage, really good cutoff there. Way to be where the shooter is. Agonize hits it to Shaka. Zvoik gets a kind of an awkward 50. Vantage doesn't read the ball. Who gets bailed out by Quicks. You know he was feeling that one. That could have been dangerous. Quicks with a really good 50. Shaka's there though to get the block. Zvoik with a shot of his own. Gets cleared by Joe Bro. Quicks continuing the onslaught. And I think, yeah, Tennessee's going to let that one drop. Razorbacks definitely had a lot of good pressure there. Hopefully they can carry that momentum after this kickoff. To another play. Shockey hits past one. Vantage off. Opting to dribble in front of the net. Not, you know, super safe, but, you know, he trusted himself. Oh, Zvoik pushed up a little too far as third man. Luckily he didn't get punished. Barely got a touch. Really want to be careful as last back pushing up to that near post because if it gets hit over you, you know, your team is dead. Shaka going for the double touch. Luckily, Svoik did a great job contesting that on backboard. Quicks not with a great touch. Svoik bails him out. Well done. 
Banjo gets a good clear. Hopefully Quicks can get there to pressure this. He does. He ends up forcing them into their corner. Quicks also looking for the demo. Doesn't quite get theirs. Banjo starts dribbling in the corner. Doesn't quite get the 50, but it does go to Quicks. So this is good. But I don't think Svoik is fast enough to follow up. Baintage goes for boost. Luckily he's back in time. Not a great clear, but good follow up from his team here. Gets it down the field. Very good low fake. I would have done that too. The ones play. That was a good try. Quicks gets a good 50. Baintage is a little far though. He can push up now. He's got a teammate behind him. Quicks gets it around two. Might get around three. Just not close enough from Vantage to get there. To be fair, it didn't look super plausible, but, you know, if he was there a little earlier, that could have potentially been a goal. But, no matter. Just go next. Wait for the next opportunity. Uh-oh. Gets around one. Svoik, luckily, gets there. Very good bump from Tennessee, but really good cut from the Razorbacks. That could have been sketchy if I couldn't tell who it was, but somebody cut in. Kind of saved, saved them there. In that bump play. So you've seen the bump plays really cause a lot of goals on the Razorbacks today. So, anyways, glad to see them get out of that one alive. Two minutes into overtime now. 50 goes out to Agonize, who gets a decent touch. Quicks is backwards. I don't think he was ready for that touch. Luckily, Vantage is there to, to contest that first. Quicks trying to get around one, but gets blocked. Oh, there's no one back at no! Oh, and that's going to be an overtime goal for Tennessee. Oh, Quicks gets a 50. I don't know. Oh, that's what happens. Voigt got bumped on defense. So, man. Yeah, like I've been saying, really the bumps have really been killer. Uh, <laughs> really been killer for the Razorbacks. Tennessee's saying it was lucky. You know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But regardless, it, it gave them the game. So, uh, man, don't know if that was down to Zvoik just needing to jump and challenge it earlier or, or what, but that's going to be game one to Tennessee. You can see from the, the stats, Tennessee had a lot more shots on net. So, I don't know, hopefully, uh, though I will say the Razorbacks offense, like their shots I feel like have been more more deadly so not more shots isn't necessarily mean you're better off usually it does but I really feel like the the Razorbacks even though they had less shots their opportunities were better so hopefully they can just capitalize on more of them this game um, and again just really lock down the defense just the yeah the last man just making some sketchy choices a good fake for maintenance let's quick get a, a goal bait essentially was that from their net yeah, it's a, from their goalie box. Gets a clear. Vantage faking this redirect. Ends up going low. And that ball just drifts in. So, you love to see that. Good kickoff from this void. Vantage opts for the pop. Probably would have been better if he tried to possess and go for a dribble. But maybe he saw something where if he got a better touch, he could have scored. Who knows? That's going to be 1-0 for the Razorbacks. Hopefully they can extend their lead. Yeah, need an earlier challenge for that. Luckily, Quicks gets up, but someone needed to challenge that earlier to give the last man a little more time to react when the shot comes out. Don't know if you saw more bump plays. Zvoit getting absolutely clobbered. So, you know, really, Razorbacks need to find their way to, to dodge these bumps. Whether that's by swerving more, you know, using their audio to listen out for them. Heading, throwing some stops in their rotation if they have to. Quick's trying to pre-flip this touch, but on zero boost, it's you know it can be hard to get a pre-flip. Bandage goes up for a touch. Agonize gets it up, and we'll get another 50. So that was well played from him. Bandage should be back in time to get this. There he goes. Kind of a weird side challenge from Shaka. Doesn't really do anything. Quick's trying to get a piece of this ball. Zvoik, a little too pushed up trying to shadow defend there but he did put enough pressure on them to stop an instant shot attempt yep another shot on net can someone get back no and there's another goal for tennessee or at least their their first goal for this series so like yeah just playing in the middle of the net 
really as third man, you gotta be sitting at that back post until you know it's safe. Because a lot of the times, people in third position like that will push up thinking it's safe when it's not. And it'll get cleared over them, and a lot of pressure on Quicks! No, and that's a second goal for Tennessee. Oh, this touch right here just was not <laughs> what he wanted. You know, he's trying to flip and possess that into the corner, but instead he just essentially leaves it in front of their post. Very, very unfortunate. Not what he wanted. Yeah, Razorbacks just really need to clutch up on defense a little more. That's really how they're losing these games. So, not that they've lost this yet, because here's the offense. They're arguably better half. Quicks with good possession right there into a nice upper left shot from Vantage. I think it was one of the Tennessee players AFK right there. I, I don't know. Agonize looked like that was his ball, but just didn't move. You know, at least he's back. So hopefully there's no technical difficulties for them. Ooh, and a bounce shot. Just hits crossbar. Kind of surprised that got through as far as it did. Oh, Vantage with a nice pop. Tries to get that to himself. Didn't jump quite fast enough to follow up. So... Joe Bro looking for the quick shot, goes wide, looking for that demo on Vantage, there it is, yeah. And that's going to have a lot of pressure on Razorbacks, luckily Quicks gets a clear across. Another attack, gets cut off into the corner. Very good on Quicks to get over one, but Shaka gets it, Zvoik clears it, goes to Vantage, into the corner. Not a great opportunity here, those high bounces... Especially when there's people on backboard just aren't that effective, so. He tries to get around one. Vantage starting a dribble. Gets a good power shot there. Can't quite get it over them though. Got a lot of good pressure here from, from UARC right now. So hopefully they can maintain it, keep some pressure up in the midfield. I say as they really pressure that's just gonna be a goal, no! Oh, literally it's almost like I jinxed it. They lost pressure right here in the midfield. They needed someone to challenge this. I don't know if there's a misrotation in collecting boosts or what, but um, yeah, just needed some pressure right there. And then I don't know what happened with Blast, but it was just a, you know, a slow lob. It wasn't that fast. So maybe, I don't know, maybe third man thought there'd be more of a challenge or just wasn't quite prepared for a shot, but that's partly their job. You know, they're waiting for worst case scenario. So they need to be ready for shots like that. So, man. 3-2 now, Tennessee. This very much could be the Razorbacks game, but just the defense has just been kind of crumbling, so. They've still got time to tie it up again with, with offense, their strong suit. Looks like it's a pretty decent touch left. Almost got the fallout from Quicks. It might look a little sketchy, but usually if you have your second man rotating Quick out onto that, and if you can get it just enough past the uh, the offensive player there, you can get a good clear off that. So, that was a good try. Shaka trying to possess. They really need someone on this. There we go. It was a little late of a challenge, but, you know, better late than never, I guess. Quicks, not... Opting not to rotate back, I don't know, maybe they're, they're probably calmed. Spoik might have been getting harassed. Hard to tell from that angle, but... Seven seconds left. This could be their chance, but Shaki gets the clear. And Vantage really needs to try and keep this ball up. Gets it off sidewall. Wait, I'm seeing an open net here. Not quite fast enough of a touch, though. Agonize trying to keep it up, or trying to, well, get touches there. Hopefully the Razorbacks can keep this up. Svoik does get a touch. Can Quicks follow up? No, and there's a touch off post. Ah, oh, and that's going to be game two, Tennessee. Man. I really feel like these, these games are in the hands of the Razorbacks. It's just these little mistakes on defense are costing them goals, and then their leads and momentum are just kind of getting snuffed out earlier than they should. So... That's going to be 2 on 0 for Tennessee for this series so far of the best of 5. So we are hoping, you know, crossing our fingers for a, a good old reverse sweep here. Definitely not unheard of. 
again, especially because I feel like these games should be for the hogs, but just these slight defensive mistakes are, are ruining them. Vantage gets a good 50. This bounce does go towards Quicks, right? Gets a very nice touch above, but it, there's the pressure. And it goes in. Thank goodness. Hog scoring. You know, you might say Quicks put that too high because it wasn't in the net, but it was actually the right move because if he put it too low, Tennessee would have cleared that into the corner, but placing it high was just out of their reach and allowed uh, Quicks' teammates to follow up on that. So, well, very well played there. Speaking of Quicks, puts it off high. Oh, double commit from Zvoik and Vantage. Not a clear enough established third man. Quicks does make it back in time, though, to get the save. Quicks probably opting for a flip reset here. He did get it, just didn't quite use it early enough, in my opinion. I think that could have been a goal, potentially. But, alas. Maybe next time, get the clip. Quicks gets the clear. Shaka, kind of an early touch. I feel like he could have done a little better job controlling that. But... It ends up working out okay. Vantage gets kind of an awkward clear, but it works out. Zvoik up, and that's going to be a goal for the Razorbacks. Here we go. Just kind of a weird moment here. We have two Tennessee members up, and then just zooming right past it. So definitely won't complain about that one. As Zvoik gets it past them into the right side of the net. That's a good cushion for the Razorbacks right now. Up to an early start. Oh, I say, as it gets stripped away. Shaka with a good air dribble. Quick's doing a weird little drift turn there. Not quite sure what that was. I think he was worried about needing that early pressure, but it kind of bit him in the butt. Don't really know what his plan was there. Oh, fast clear off sidewall. It's like backflips. Does put a clanger on, but I think if he got that early shot, it would have caught them more off guard. Very good bounce on the top corner, but no follow up. It's going to get defended and put in the blue corner as they clear out to midfield. Quick kind of getting a weird challenge from the side. Wasn't quite wide enough for a, for a solid challenge, but he does get in front of it, which is the important thing. Vantage doing a good job keeping possession. Quicks going for a bump. Kind of ballsy in my opinion. I probably would have played to the 50 there, but, you know, the demos have worked for the, the opposing teams in the past, so makes sense that you would try it. Quicks the weird clear off the top corner. Oh, and that's going to go directly down to Tennessee. Yeah, these bounces off the top corner can be really dangerous, and so Quicks just couldn't quite get around the ball the right way. Ends up kind of... Dinking it down to Tennessee. And their cushion uh, is gone. So, unlucky. <laughs> Hate to see it. But at least it's a tie game, you know? And here's a good opportunity from them right now, actually. Bandage did a good job kind of doing some slow paced mind game stuff. Just didn't quite have the speed on a follow up for a goal there. Slow like early challenging for Vantage. That was a good choice. Relieving him of uh, that pressure of being last and too far away. Quicks gets a clean in the corner. Follows it up. Gets another 50. It does land right in front of the net, but it's slow. So easy follow-up for the Razorbacks. Missed touch from Joe Bros. Going to go to Quicks with a really good doink from Vantage. Quicks trying to follow it up himself. Kind of hits it a little too hard with his dribble. And then Sloyd kind of misreading that play. Doesn't quite get in front of the ball. Quicks respected that guy. Unlucky if he didn't. That could have been a shot on that maybe. But <laughs> he's respecting the guy. That he would touch it. Alas, he didn't. Quicks going for kind of a ballsy demo here. I don't know. He is more of a bumper than I am. But it has benefited him in the past. Kind of a double 50 from the Hogs there. Kind of weird. Cooks dies. Dies for the cause. Andrew to the clear mid. Quick's doing a good job not being baited in by that. He's getting beat, so it was smart of him not to go. Zvoig 
Push it up a little far, sword man. I don't know if there's anyone back post now. Okay, good. Vantage didn't make it back. <laughs> Whiff from Joe, bro. Honestly, kind of worked out for them. Good read from Vantage. Hopefully, Zoit can. Yeah, I didn't quite make the half volley, so not quite as strong of a touch as it could be. Zoic with a really good touch! No, Quicks wasn't ready for it! Oh, man. Zoic looking to get a shot, but actually got a really good 50 out to Quicks, but Quicks just didn't have the boost, and I don't know if he was actually ready for that 50, so couldn't quite get the shot. Really good possessive touch from Quicks, going for the air dribble. Gets blocked. Hopefully Vantage puts this mid. He does. Really good try on the infield pass, just Zoic was a little late, so Quicks cut in. Got some 50s near post. Quick shot hit around one, but Agonize barely gets a touch on it. Actually ends up being very beneficial for them. Zoic looking for this backboard clear. Well done. Looks like we might be going to overtime for the second time today. I think. Yeah. And here we go. So for the Hogs, this goal means staying alive in this series. Looking for that reverse sweep. And a goal for Tennessee means finishing it out and uh, being done. So very important goal here, obviously. We'll see who pulls it out. Very strong pinch goes left wall. Vantage gets a, a decent beat, but no follow-up. Oh, okay. Some, I think Zvoik just dove across. Very weird pinch from Shotka goes into the corner. Don't know what that's about. Vantage gets cut off. Zvoik was not ready for this. He's not back post. Oh, man. Luckily, he was far back enough to get a touch on that. That could have been very dangerous. Vantage gets a touch forward. Quick starts to follow up. Good try. I think he's looking to maybe put that backboard for a double or something. Or maybe just a pass. Quick gets a demo. Not really enough pressure on the ball for this to be capitalized on, potentially. Or more than likely. Vantage gets a sidewall pass. Zvoik. Tries to get that uh, redirect. It was, a good it was a good try. There's a lot of pressure from the Hogs right now on Tennessee. So hopefully they can just finish it out. And stay alive in the series. Quicks. Trying to get this to Vantage's side. He didn't, Vantage didn't quite turn fast enough. Does get a touch on it. Zvoik goes into the corner. Looking for another touch on this. Pinches it. Pretty good. Vantage gets it Oh, if he got it over one, maybe Quicks could have uh, followed that up, but it was definitely a good try. Very good opportunities here. Here we go. Here's another clear. Joe Bro gonna get a light touch, which means... Oh, but it was just far enough for it to be past Voik. Gets bailed. Touch goes to Voik. He needs to go. There he goes. Quicks goes for the redirect. Not quite fast enough. Vantage gets a really good 50, but this is going to get cleared off backboard to hopefully a hog member. Here we go. Get does get cleared off backboard, but it's not a good clear. Vantage throws it forward. Goes for the bump. Oh, it gets cleared by Shaka. Oh my gosh, I thought Zvoik just owned goal. I would have lost my mind. No, he did good. He cleared it to the corner. He just did a lot of boost. So he's chilling. He did good. Kirk's with a really good 50 there. Vantage is up first. Tries to get that upper 90 slot, but doesn't get it. Quick starts to put it in, but it's not hard enough. It's like, oh my gosh, the opportunities. They're so close. Razorbacks really need this goal to enter the next game. We're looking at 2 minutes and 40 seconds of overtime. It's a lot of time for one Rocket League game. Shaka clears back, but real quick is the net. He does get back fast enough, though. He was probably low boost and didn't have time to get backboard. So, but he did okay. He's got the reads. Vantage trying to do something off the wall. Gonna end up going back to Quicks. He gets a clear here. Shot on net. Vantage trying to get the bump. If he did, that would have been a goal. Good try. Zoy hits it off the corner. Ends up just going back to Tennessee. But Quicks had a really good uh, challenge here. It's gonna go again. It's probably... Oh, Quicks landed on his hood. He definitely wanted to follow that up again. And it... Probably would have been pretty dangerous if he did. Swoik with a bit of an early touch, but he did a good job following it up again, so gotta respect him for that. Doing a good job holding the fort as lost, man. Very high touch, ceiling pass. Dangerous. Luckily, it didn't turn out to be anything. Vantage should get a boom clear here. Out to Zvoik. 
Not quite on. It's a miss from the post. Vantage! No, he puts it too high. Oh, I don't know if he was expecting to clear or what, but he just wasn't ready to shoot it, I guess. Or maybe he didn't have enough boost to get there. I don't know. But man, that could have been it. That could have been the game over. But now we're into four minutes of overtime. As I'm sure both teams are desperately trying to end this game. Infield pass. No. <laughs> Oh, and that's going to be the the overtime goal. Four minutes and nine seconds. Really good infield pass there. Oh, man. You just really hate to see that. Oh, just gutting. You spend, you know, four minutes in overtime and just can't get that last... That last goal. Oh, uh, it just... It hurts your heart. I don't know. Really unfortunate. The Razorbacks just needed, you know, to... To capitalize on those opportunities they had. We saw those last few attempts. It was like an open net, but they just weren't ready to, uh, to put it away. Their defense started to look a little better, too. So maybe if they got through that game, they could have uh, finished it out, but... Very, very gut-wrenching end to that series. Could have easily been the start of a reverse sweep, hopefully. So, you know, hopefully they get into the replays, check out their kind of defensive mistakes. Because honestly, like I've been saying, their offense has been strong, just aside from those kind of flubs that we saw in that last game. So hopefully they, um, yeah, just start looking at third-man positioning, try to play a little farther back, get some wider rotation in. And, uh, yeah, hopefully next time, they learn from their mistakes. So, anyways, thank you for watching the two SEL games today. Um, maybe we'll stream next week. We'll see. But if we do, hope to see you there. Thanks. See you later.